Well, this is something that I've had a lot of the experience with. And I can tell you that um, names of the Godhead are used in everyday language, as we all know, in vain. But also, it's becoming more and more common for, um, for those names to be even slandered by people who, who don't take them seriously. And that's one of the things we need to do, is that, um, is that we need to maintain the sacredness in those names and using them. But at the same time, also remember that um, the name of Jesus Christ is, um, the spirit comes with it because the spirit testifies of Christ. So, <clears throat> in using his name, we must, you know, aside from not undermining the sacredness of it, um, we must also rem remember that we need to keep the spirit with us. In uh, Doctrine and Covenants uh, 63, it says, Behold, I am the Alpha Omega, even Jesus Christ. Wherefore, let all men beware how they make my name in their lips. For behold, verily, I say that many there be who are under this condemnation, who use the name of the Lord and use it in vain, having not authority. Wherefore, let the church re repent of their sins, and I, the Lord, will own them. Otherwise, they shall be cut off. And this is all true. And on top of this, we also must remember that especially today, we, we have to be an example, we have to shine us a light to everyone else, because it is, it's sort of turned around where, um, where people will notice if you, if you don't, if you don't, um, if you keep the sacredness and the names of the Godhead in your everyday language and keep a clean tongue, you will, people notice that. And, um, it's funny, this makes me think of uh, a time when I was on the bus and there was a girl who was getting <clears throat> made fun of just for, just for the reason that she didn't curse in, in um, her language. If she talked, she would never curse and people were getting onto her by the time that she needed to curse more. So that, that sort of shows that it's, um, it's uncommon to, to keep a clean tongue, but we may use that also to um, to guide people and also to also testify of Christ because if you are asked about your language, you may use that as an opportunity to give your testimony and and to hopefully be a be a light to others. And I know that I know that those names are sacred, and I know that we can in keeping the sacred we can be a light unto everyone who looks at us and hears us speak. And I know these things are true, and I say them in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. amen.